Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be taking a look at this wonderful 90s Zemias original, caked up in pink and turquoise, and a mall that was designed to kill off another mall in town, however, in return, ended up facing its own fate. Welcome to the Johnstown Galleria. Let's take a walk through this wonderful 90s Zemias property. Johnstown, PA already had a mall on scene during the time, as Richland Mall, not too far away, was in the area with shopping needs in the Johnstown region. However, in the 90s, Zemias wanted to build their new mega galleria in Johnstown, building the sister mall to the York Galleria. Johnstown Galleria would end up opening up on October 22nd, 1992. Developed by Zemias, the mall would have such pleasing architecture, bringing on a bunch of skylights, the clock tower glass elevator, salmon and turquoise colors, and just a whole lot of 90s vibes. Boscos would actually open before the mall on September 19th. And original anchors would consist of Boscovs, JCPenney, Bonton, and Sears, which Sears relocated from the original Richland Mall in the area. With the opening of Johnstown Galleria, Richland Mall could not keep up and would end up closing its doors in 1998. Johnstown Galleria seemed to be dominating the Johnstown area and doing rather well for itself. It seemed like Johnstown Galleria was doing relatively well during the 90s and early 2000s. In 2008, however, Zemias would end up selling the mall and ownership would end up going to Gemini Real Estate Advisors in 2008 for $57 million. However, whilst Gemini Real Estate Investors would own the mall, Zemias would still stay on hand of the site for management. It seemed like Johnstown Galleria was at a weird state with two different companies owning and managing them all. It seemed like it could cause a problem in the future for the property. And within that, we come to the 2010s, where Johnstown Galleria would start falling apart.
In the late 2000s, Stephen Berry's had attempted to open a small format store in the Johnstown Galleria. However, due to Stephen Berry's way fast expansion, they would file for bankruptcy and close all locations, including the Johnstown Galleria store in 2009. From this point, Adar Johnstown Limited Liability Corporation purchased the property the mall is located on in 2014. And Pax Mall Realty settled a tax dispute with Cambria County over the value of the Boskov's anchor in 2017. With this, anchors would start leaving Johnstown Calaria. During the first wave of Bonton closures, Bonton would announce their location at Johnstown Galleria would be closing in April of 2018. And shortly after, on April 27th, 2018, Sears would announce their closure of their Johnstown Galleria location, leaving just JCPenney and Boskov's as anchor stores. As anchors left, the owners of Johnstown Galleria at the time seemed to not really care about how the mall was doing. And with this, it would show, as stores would flee fast. Many stores would leave Johnstown Galleria and look for other places elsewhere. With this, the mall would enter receivership as Zamias really seemed to see the writing on the wall for Johnstown Galleria. Spinoza Real Estate would take over in February 2020, and stores would still be leaving. However, around this same time, lockdown would hit due to the COVID pandemic and would cause the mall to shut down for a couple months. As Johnstown Galleria, along with other malls in Pennsylvania, reopened, there would be a major decrease in the amount of stores and occupancy at Johnstown Galleria. With this, Johnstown Galleria would go to U.S. Bank in 2021. And with this, the mall has been waiting for sale for so long trying to find the right owner who could potentially bring them all back. And in August of 2022, they might have found the right owner. Leo Carulli would take over for $3 million, a private owner, a businessman, and he had a vision to bring more retail back to Johnstown. And so far, from what I've heard, Leo has been bringing Johnstown back. The food court, which only had about two places when I visited, is now back to full occupancy. And as far as I've heard, he's had a lot of stores lease on back to the mall. This could be a sign of Johnstown Galleria clinging back to life, and it could manage to stay.
Now, if you want to talk about early 90s mall architecture, this place shines at best. This place has not been remodeled once. It still looks original to its 1992 opening. The salmon and turquoise looks absolutely incredible. The gridded ceilings in the food court, the big skylights, the street post lights. I mean, this place, it's something special. And although it took me a little while to actually grow onto the design of this mall, I actually really like it. It's a very nice mall. And honestly, that might just be due to how much time I actually only had to spend in this mall as I only had about 40 minutes to get all my footage and get out before the mall closed for the night. But this is truly one special mall. And I think with Leo at ownership here and him in control, I think this mall will make it. Even with only JCPenney and Bozkov's as anchors, Johnstown Galleria seems like a mall that could truly be here to stay. It seems like a very strong property that could really make it through. And there we go. And with that, I would like to thank you guys for watching my video tour of the Johnstown Galleria Mall in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like as it greatly helps support the channel. And whilst you're at it, please be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so more videos like this can come to more viewers like you. If you guys want more sneak peeks of future videos coming to the channel, I've got an Instagram linked in the description. With that, I'm excited to announce the big plans on ERA Productions for 2023. There is so many malls we plan to showcase. And with that, I'm excited to announce there's going to be a blast of content for this year. 2023 is going to be a big year for the channel. So if you want to straddle in and see more of what I have to offer this year, you're not going to want to miss it. Subscribe down below. With that, I'm going to thank you guys for watching this video. And take care. Have a blessed day.